Microphones, you can't create a podcast without them. With all the different types out there, what are the things we are looking for in a podcast microphone? The Mayono microphones in the kit are dynamic microphones, meaning that they are less sensitive to background noise and get the best sound when you're close to them. Another type of microphone is a condenser microphone. Condenser microphones are sensitive and designed to capture sound from the whole environment. Let's test out these two microphone types and listen to the difference. This is a dynamic microphone. This is a condenser microphone. Hear the difference? For podcasting in a lively classroom, a dynamic microphone will be our best option. You could test this out yourself with the microphones you may have. Now we know why we're using dynamic mics, it's time to set up the Mayono microphone with all the bells and whistles attached. The microphones in the kit have been assembled for you. Unscrew the stand to make the mic taller. Adjust the screw so that the mic is pointing directly to your mouth. It's sitting on some elastic bands. This is called a shock mount and will reduce any vibrations from the table. I'd still have kids with hands in laps so they don't make noises on the table. On the base of the microphone, you'll notice three ports. There is an XLR connection for use when using the Rodecaster Pro 2. There is a USB-C socket plugging directly into your computer and a 3.5 mil jack to output to your headphones. The microphone also comes with a pop filter. The purpose of a pop filter is to soften sounds that start with the p and t sounds. To connect the pop filter, you firstly need to screw the metal support into the filter, then slide the metal support down the length of the microphone through the corresponding holes. You may need to loosen the gold bolt. Twist the bolt in the opposite direction to hold it in place. You want the pop filter about three finger widths away from the microphone. When you pack the kit away for the next school, you just need to remove the pop filter. Now your microphone is ready. Make sure you watch the Good Mic Technique film in this series so you can ensure the best quality audio. You'll find lots more support resources on all things STEM at the STEM T4L Learning Library and on our YouTube channel. Visit t4l.link forward slash STEM. We'd love to hear about how you and other staff or students are using this kit in your school. Join the conversation with other teachers like you in the Facebook group or on the Viva Engage community to receive support directly from the team. Just search for stem.t4l.